Thanks for staying with us. House Republicans called U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland to Capitol Hill for an oversight hearing on the Department of Justice. But the hearing back uh, became a back and forth rather about GOP claims that the Justice Department has become a tool of President Biden to attack his political opponents. Natalie Brand has more from Capitol Hill. We will not be intimidated. Attorney General Merrick Garland in the hot seat before the House Judiciary Committee defended the work of the Justice Department he leads. I am not the president's lawyer. I will add, I am not Congress's prosecutor. Republicans on the committee accused the DOJ of what they call a two-tiered system of justice. Americans believe that today in our country, there is unequal application of the law. They see the DOJ, of course, aggressively prosecuting President Biden's chief political rival, Mr. Trump, while at the same time, they see slow walking and special treatment given to the president's son. Republicans peppered the attorney general with questions about the DOJ's investigation into Hunter Biden. Garland referred lawmakers to the special counsel overseeing the probe more than two dozen times. Prosecutors make appropriate determinations on their own. In this case, I left it to Mr. Weiss whether to bring charges or not. Democrats accuse Republicans of pushing conspiracy theories for political gain. They want to divide this country and make our government appear like it's broken because that is when their broken political party thrives. So today I implore the public to see through the sham. Attorney General Garland also testified that no one told him to indict former President Trump rebutting Trump's campaign trail claim. Mary Garland repeated multiple times that claims of a politicized or weaponized DOJ have led to security threats against both FBI and DOJ personnel.